doctor in the house. <sighs> Barring an intergalactic showdown, the race towards planetary colonization is ramping up. I'll share a couple of spacefaring stories in a moment, but first, please like and subscribe to us. It's time to explore the world of control automation. What would you do if you needed surgery and the closest surgeon was on a different planet? Your outlook may not be as bleak as you think. That's because a surgical robotic assistant named Space Mira, developed by Virtual Incision, has successfully performed surgical maneuvers in zero gravity aboard the International Space Station. Space Mira weighs only 0.9 kilograms and occupies the space of a microwave. Operated remotely by surgeons on Earth, Space Mirror uses two arms to operate as a human surgeon would, one arm with a gripping tool to grasp tissue and the other to cut. Despite a split second time delay between ISS and the surgeons controlling the robots in Nebraska, they were able to successfully complete Space Mirror testing. That is truly out of this world, and for another device showcasing brilliant human ingenuity, we turn to our premier product highlight, sponsored by Mauser Electronics. The Indris and Hauser Water Pilot FMX11 transmitter offers precise hydrostatic level measurement and environmental applications certified for drinking water use. With a temperature range of negative 10 degrees Celsius to plus 70 degrees Celsius and a pressure measuring range of 200 mbar to 2 bar, it ensures accurate readings even in challenging conditions. Featuring a robust 316 liter construction, it's suitable for various installations including wells, water towers, and dams. With all of these certifications, the Indris and Hauser Water Pilot FMX11 transmitter guarantees reliability and adherence to industry standards. Easy installation, customizable options, and compact design make it ideal for diverse applications. To learn more, visit Mauser.com. When science is confounding and the head starts pounding, we turn to David's Corner. Thanks, Andy. You know, in industry, we primarily use discrete sensors. Discrete sensors are characterized by an on and off signal. That means that they're great for detecting like the presence of an object or whether the liquid in a tank is above or below a certain threshold. But a lot of times we need more than just an on off signal to determine whether our process is working. These on off signals, we can tell from the switches that are mechanical because they have this clicking action. That's the sound of the contacts inside engaging. Sometimes the sensors are by transistor inside, which means that they do not have a clicking action, but they still provide that on and off signal. Now switching over to the other kind of sensors, these are what we call analog. These analog signals have usually either a voltage or a current output. The voltage usually goes from zero to 10 volts, with zero volts being the minimum measurement level, 10 volts being the highest measurement level. But the problem is, when the wire is a long distance, like the sensor is a long distance away from the PLC, or if there's noisy equipment nearby, the voltage can change inside the wire. That means that the signal is not going to be very accurate. So one of the most common types of analog signals is 4 to 20 milliamps. Why not 0 to 20? When we have a 4 to 20 milliamp signal, a 0 milliamp signal means that there's actually a fault in the system, a broken wire. So when the signal goes down to only four milliamps, we can verify that not only do we have a fully working system, but we also have a minimum amount of signal, and it can go up to 20 milliamps. Now, since it's current, any voltage change on the wire will result in the sensor changing its output signal to maintain a steady output. Therefore, they're much more immune to any sort of noise that's happening nearby. Analog signals versus discrete signals. Andy, back to you. Thank you, David. The Harvard John A. Paulson School of Engineering and Applied Sciences researchers are crafting robots equipped with versatile tools to aid in the maintenance of equipment and structures linked to deep space living. The gripper design features scissor links that adapt its grasping ability for objects needing varying pressure. This gripper offers three distinct functions, a secure hold with short, firm fingers, manipulation capability with a jointed design, and adaptable gripping for items of diverse shapes. This is achieved by adding two additional joints. These advancements in extraterrestrial robotics are vital for sustaining life and ensuring medical care in space missions. He won't be far. Oh! 
That does it for Automator's Edge. Stay updated on the latest control automation. Head over to control.com now.